uh, that I sing in choir every Wednesday night? Honestly, I cannot give an answer to this. I'm so dull and predictable that everybody knows everything. I honestly can't think of a single thing. What can I say? I'm an open book. I was 15 stone when I was 14. Big lad! I'm allergic to horses. Yep. I snore. If you don't know it already, I'm a complete control freak. Uh, I like road biking. Uh, we road bike every summer. Uh, I like doing particularly painful hills. Uh, now, most people at home will be going, anyone who knows me will be going, you, Lydia, it's actually Martin Dixon. He is appalling. Lydia. Lydia. Nap. Double nap. Five star nap. Max bet advised. Oh, can she hear me? Lydia. Oh, that's a shot head. Kevin and Lydia. Mm, has everyone said Lydia? Lydia. Kevin or Ryan, hands down. Peter Norton. No, Dan Barber. Dan Barber. Niall Hannity's very funny, actually. He makes me laugh a lot. And Lucky makes me laugh a lot. Look, Lucky and Hannity make me laugh. They're, they're, uh, yeah, I've gone round in circles here, but Lucky and Hannity. Fran Berry is quite the comedian. He's changed a lot since his riding days. <laughs> Peter Norton does make me howl. Unwittingly, Steve Mellish. Uh, Nick Luck. Tom Stanley is always in good humour. Uh, Tom Stanley. <laughs> um, that's a good question. There's a lot of wacky funsters out there amongst the uh, <laughs> amongst the presentation team. Um, Mark Howard. Cricket. Again, predictable. Football. Golf. They're not always to play. To play golf, to watch football. Rugby. Tennis. Tennis. A journalist? No idea. A vet? I'm pretty sure I still wanted to be a jockey, even though I was getting way too big at that stage already. I, I wanted to be a lawyer, then I realised you had to work hard. Uh, number three batsman for the West Indies? A jockey. No idea. Uh, the first woman jockey to win the Grand National. Damn you, Rachel Blackmore. Cheese and onion. Paprika. Crisps. Thai sweet chilli. Ah, oh, chilli heatwave Doritos, all the way. They can't be bettered. Anyone that says they can is lying. Oh, uh, McCoy's, uh, what do they call them now? Flame grilled steak. It used to be barbecued flavour, but flame grilled steak. Free ones. Tato. Salt and vinegar. Oh, it's painful to say it, but... No, nah, actually, I'm definitely not saying either of them. No, it's definitely not Tom Stanley or Rishi Passat. It's, um... It's, it's definitely Gary O'Brien. Peter Norton. I gather Nick Luck might have said me for this one as a joke, so I better return the favour, Nick Luck. Uh, Sam Turner is always beautifully turned out. Oh. Sam Turner. Well, they think the best dress would be Fran or Tom Stanley, but are they best dressed? That's questionable. Uh, it's a tie. Kate Harrington and Fran Berry always look chic. Uh, not something I think about. Megan Nichols. Worst dressed? Uh, probably me, to be fair. <laughs> oh. Fran and Tom Stanley. Nick Luck. What? <laughs> 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 I, swear, I don't think any interest in what people are wearing, so it's as you as you can as you as you can tell. <laughs> probably it's, it's probably me. It's probably me. In all honesty. Hawk Mountain. Rosel. No, it's not Rosel. It's another one in the black and orange. We'll go big country. Toss up between Bayan and Bix Canvas. Kato okay, Star. Very promising. White wine. Too much of it. Bottle of lager. Pint of Guinness. Ah, uh, just some sort of posh beer. Some some session IPA would, would do me. Under four percent, but a nice nice flavour. Ah, uh, oh goodness. Uh, nice coffee. Coffee before lunch. Red wine up. A regular coke. None of that zero crap. <laughs> Whatever's going, not gin. Martin Dixon. From an Irish point of view, I suppose Ruby has his moments, and the odd time Dr. Berry as well. Uh, 
Ma Martin Dixon. That is just Martin Dixon. I'd say Steve Mellish. Would be... Brain and many good. There are so many. I would probably say Lydia. Who is the best judge? Martin Dixon. Two things. One, too much, too much noise on the public address. It makes it bloody difficult to work. And secondly, too many people in kind of high-vis security garb just making the place look completely uninviting for anyone coming in. After timing. Either after a winner or about a price that's already gone. I uh, don't have too many. Don't like the rain. Um, I don't think it's too much off the top of my head apart from that. My pet hate when I'm working on the race course is the PA banging in your ears while you're, while you're trying to talk. Uh, <laughs> uh, my colleagues who try to wind you up and stare at you from behind the camera. I hate too many things to have a pet hate. People coming up to you when you're on air. Um, what's going on? Not, if, if something has gone wrong, something not being communicated to the paying public. And horses not turning up on time in the parade room. 